Hi, my name is Amber Cromwell, and I would like to share with you my LCCC story. It's not really your typical story. Who am I kidding? It's a coming of age that I don't wish upon anybody. I went through a lot of hardship and struggle to get where I am today. Growing up, I was a loner. I never really got involved in school activities. I did well in school, but it was all pretty boring. That was until my senior year at East High School. Yep, I got pregnant. Not really any 17-year-old girl's dream. It really made me feel even more isolated from everything and everyone. I was alone. I hid this from my parents for as long as I could. I was scared to tell them. When my mom found out, well, let's just say she wasn't very pleased with me. Even though she had gone through the same experience, it was still hard to get my family support. During this time, there was also a death in my family that really just destroyed me. It was my cousin. He was like my brother and my best friend. He was murdered. Despite the family struggles I was going through, I continued to go to school and I graduated. A shining moment broke through all the sadness when I had my beautiful daughter, Nicole, in May and walked to my graduation in June. My family support grew at this point and my mom tried to give me some guidance and enrolled me at LCCC when I was 18. But I had a baby and I was still caught up in the aftershock of my life and I dropped out after a few quick months. I was having to grow up so fast and I sort of felt like I knew everything. I already had a job so I moved out and was going to take on the world on my own. I had my second child, my son, KJ, when I was 21. My kids' father was never much support to me so I was pretty much a single parent. Man, it was hard. I started to look for outlets to escape the stress of my life and I turned to drugs and alcohol. I partied hard. It made me feel better about myself, for a moment anyways. The party came to an end when I found myself in jail for three months. I hit rock bottom. I knew I needed help. When I got out of jail, I went to the Chrysalis house and I was in rehab for about nine months. The group of people there saved my life. They were very supportive and helped me clean up, build up my self-esteem so that I wouldn't slip back into old habits. I've been clean and sober for eight years now. My journey to better days had begun. I got a job at a flower shop and found new sense of ambition to go back to college and better myself even more. But I was terrified. I was 33 years old. I felt like I was too old and would feel out of place. I got good grades in high school, but that was a very long time ago. I first started as a psychology major and I eased into going to college by just going part-time. I quickly found comfort from the teachers, staff, and my fellow students, the younger ones and the ones closer to my age. I changed my major after meeting with Dr. Jolene Klump. She was the head of the Human Services program. After my first meeting with her, I realized this was where I was always meant to be. I wanted to work with people and help them find the assistance that they needed. I wanted to put the embarrassments of my past and the mistakes I made to use, to be the person that others could relate to, trust, and talk to. I loved the community service projects we worked on in the program. We helped the homeless, we helped the vets, we just helped people. I am so grateful for the guidance of Dr. J and the faculty and staff at LCCC. My classmates became like my family. The Chrysalis House saved my life and LCCC made my life better. I will be walking in graduation this May. Hashtag LCCC grad 15. I had an amazing experience at LCCC. I feel blessed that I found my calling here. I landed a job with a social service agency before even graduating. LCCC gave me the courage to be a better person and instilled confidence in myself. I'm living proof that it's never too late to change and become the version of yourself you were always meant to be. My name is Amber Cromwell and thank you for letting me share my LCCC story.